Hello everybody, SP Slayer here, and welcome to a new Minecraft showcase for the 1.18.2 version of the Faithful Backrooms. Now, I know I haven't touched this mod in a while because they were reworking everything and I wanted to wait a little bit. And uh, the developer is currently on hiatus, dealing with some personal, personal issues and stuff like that, and I hope they are doing okay. But uh, I figured I would check out the mod, see how, see how its progression is going so far. So, today, without further ado, we have to grab this and this. This is for later. This is actually a lockpick, and I'll show you the crafting recipe real quick. It is two iron nuggets and a stick. And uh, you'll see what this is used for in a minute. So, let me just game mode survival myself, because this does have to be done in survival. Let me just go down here and suffocate real quick. So the way you get into the back rooms is clearly suffocation, as you can see. I know it's loud as hell. There it goes. Ow. Everything kind of shifted the second I got here. The humbuzz went away excessively quickly. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen. But <laughs> we're just going to go game mode, creative again. So that I can show things off without... Starving to death or something. Um, but yeah, there's a few new features. There's a few new features. First off, if you look at a block and push V, this happens. Block analyze. Now, if you go to advancements, you'll find this segment. Level 0 an analysis. Blocks found in level 0. Yellow... C Wait, yellow concrete? <laughs> this is not yellow concrete. This is yellow wallpaper. <laughs> I don't think that's named correctly. Found a bug. Anyway, <laughs> never mind that. Uh, an, a very odd shape of yellow with a rather dull pattern. You can also do that on this, which is damp carpet. You can do it on this. Yellow ceiling. On buzz lights. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, the damp carpet has a thing. I've noticed this carpet is... Mildly damp, it's brownish even slightly, yellowish at parts. What fluid is in this? And mono and in mono what? And in a monotonous grid like grid like pattern, square tiles are already on the ceiling. Arranged on the ceiling. So my ability to read just went out the window as my brain tried to comprehend what the fuck I was reading. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. So as you can see, generation for the level has changed a lot. First off, the staircase. It has multiple levels. And I'll show off one of the cooler features here in a second. Um, but we're going to take a quick peek around, see how the generation looks, as always. So there are three levels. In spite of the opening window for this mod actually saying that there's only two levels, they haven't updated it yet. Updated it yet. Da -da 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 -da. English not working. Maybe I should start learning Spanish more. I don't know. Maybe it'll be easier to speak. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, there is, like, all of this. So far, it looks generally the same as, like, previous updates. But, oh, there is something new. So, yeah, as you can see, there are, like, new vents. And, of course, you can click V on them and learn a bit about them. So, yeah, air seems to gently blow, blow out of them. As you can see, that is a thing. There's random tidbits. Um, but, yeah. Uh, you know, I think we're going to go spectator mode here faster than I thought it was. Yeah, I think it's about time to go spectator. Anyway, so... Let's just go into spectator mode so I can show off a bit more of the level. So as you can see, things look a bit different with the staircases. The lights are an actual, like, thing that is attached to the ceiling instead of in the ceiling. Um, but over here, ah, here's what I was looking for. There's these big rooms that have these really cool looking, like, I guess, side bits they can walk on. Uh, there's supposed to be pitfalls. I don't know if they removed them in the update before I got to this. But there's supposed to be pitfalls, and they, like, 
are trapped. I think they're on the higher levels, though. They might be. Oh, yeah, I should probably show off. Um, So, you don't have to go into, like, another dimension to go between levels. That's level one up there. Yeah, the levels are all, like, above each other. So, here's level one. I won't show that off until I find, like, the actual entrance. But here's, like, level two is up here on the surface of the dimension. Which, clearly, the normal dimension in and of itself has, like, normal terrain generation. But, there is, like, the... What is... What even is this? I don't know what that is. That's a thing. Anyway. <laughs> So, as you can see, level 2 exists. And if we go back down to level 0, I will show you all how to get to the other levels. That's the staircase. I'm not seeing any of the pitfalls. Maybe they're on the higher levels? I don't know. They're, this the, the mod developers are really good. Uh, hiding things, as you can see, walls are changing as they're like as I'm like loading in sections. I'm guessing they did this to like try and prevent lag, which is a good choice. You know, have the level generate as the as people are wandering through. It's very it's it's actually a very good choice. Um, but also there's that doesn't feel like it generated correctly. <laughs> it cut off this entire like weird section. Which, that's another weird room. If I, if, I, if I find one, I'll show. But it's a very weird, like, room segment. As you can see, there's, like, these half walls. They look cool. I love them. Love the use of those. That's just a great choice. Um, but also, I believe you have to be on the lowest level in order to find an exit. Hello. This just spawned in. So yeah, again, as you can see, things are, like, generating as I'm going. Which apparently this generated as just a walled-in area. Which is cool. I like it. It definitely helps with, like, lag. <laughs> Works as lag maintenance. Because previous version, um, was a bit laggy. But yeah, the easiest way to find it is to go to the bottom of the level. The bottom level, and there will be... If we can find it here... I'm about to fly a while. Uh, but yeah, there is, we're looking for a staircase downward from the bottom level. Like there, right at that, right there. Yes, there it is. So as you can see, when you're wandering the level itself, there's this that you'll find. If we go create a mod again, you can, of course, analyze things like... Apparently, I can't analyze this pipe. Block analyze, check advancements. This is an important block. Okay, yes, there we go. Okay, locked... Wait, what? Oh, that's a friend. Locked door. This door appears to be locked. I think I'll need a lockpick to enter. So yeah, as you can see, that's where the lockpick comes in. So this is the random chance of working. As you can see, lockpick broke. Try again. Try again. There it goes. So as you can see... There's entirely new blocks in here. Dry concrete, gray concrete, dry concrete stairs. Apparently I can't analyze the light. Okay. Cobweb. Dark bricks. Wet concrete. And as you saw there for a split second, I'm sure, the uh we changed areas, it teleported us. So now we are in level one. So as you saw, we've just, like, gone up in the world. On the world elevation, so... Now we have level 1 analysis. All blocks on level 1. Okay. So if we look at this, we can analyze bin, fence door, chain fence, which apparently none of those except for the chain fence has an entry yet. Uh, a chain fence, it guards the items from the loading bay. So, uh, as you can see, these are apparently loading bays and stuff like that. But yeah, there's, like, these really cool-looking things. Painted concrete. Event, I've already analyzed. 
I think you can analyze these ceiling bars, apparently. These are just gray bricks, dark bricks. But as you can see, there's a lot of really cool, like, generation. They can analyze metal barrel, which apparently that's a metal barrel. It's a pretty big metal barrel. Crates. Another crate. We have barrel, a large blue barrel. It seems to contain items inside. A small wooden crate, a large... A small wooden crate seems to contain useful items inside. A large wooden crate seems to contain random items inside. So as you can, as you can see, this will just spit out random items. This will spit out useful items. This will occasionally spit out items. I'm imagining you need like a pickaxe or something to break. I don't know. But yeah, if you're in survival mode, level 1 is viable. Can I analyze this? Sign reading F. Sign reading C. Alright, no. I can't analyze those. Uh, can I analyze this, though? Scrap pile. Does that add anything to my fucking... No, that doesn't give me anything. So apparently you can just analyze any fucking item in the game. Alright. And I think I saw something else back this way. So we're going to go back this way. It was right here. There we are. So apparently... Right in front of this, I believe this is actually the exit to level 1. Which we'll go into in a second. But first I want to have a quick peek over here. Just another exit. Is that what this is? Yeah, it's another exit. Alright. So there's a lot of exits around here. Alright. <laughs> That's actually cool. Alright, alright. Um, but yeah. We're gonna use this one. Um. But as you can see, you can go from level 1 to... Well, level 0 to level 1 to level 2. Which, boom. Instant change. There's, of course, all of this... I don't know if there's actually... I don't see an analyzing segment for level 2 yet. I'm guessing they still haven't added it. These are all dark bricks. Bundle of wires. Large pipes. There's, like, a lot in this level. It's just not analyzed yet. Analyzable yet. It's not fully analyzable. So as you can see, there's random things in this. You'll find this. Random loot boxes, stuff like that. I don't know what to do with the scrap piles yet. I haven't figured that out. Um, I imagine you can get items from them somehow. I would have to try and figure out what exactly you need to use. Uh, but yeah, there's this random hallway that leads to a light, apparently. Um, and this seems to be, yeah, this is like another reference to the beginning of the level. This is just a really dark hallway. That, well, I should probably show that you can go back here. This is like a, this is like a functioning area. And in fact, there's like little doors and stuff that allow you to go around this area. You can find entrances like this. Or there will be ones that are just blocked off by by one of those doors. And this is a very interesting level because this isn't this one isn't finished yet, but this was the level that they added literally just the update where the developer had decided to go on hiatus. Again, hope hope they are doing okay. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there's like generators and shit in here. And everything actually looks rather nice. In all honesty. Really nice. I actually really like the look of this place. It looks adequate. But yeah. So this is the level. This is everything in it. And uh, yeah. I think that's about all there is to actually show you guys. So I guess I will end this one here. Again, as always, there will be a link in the description for the mod. Um, is there anything else I have to announce? No. 
No, I don't think there is. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I do hope everyone has enjoyed. If you wish to join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain the subscribe button. Also, guys, I I do have one other thing that I forgot to mention real quick. Um, we do have super thanks and um a membership option now. So, uh, those are two ways to help support the channel. Um, I don't I don't know how to like shoehorn in like. An advertisement or anything, so I'm just gonna say that outright. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but you know, it's it's an option there. Just have to uh, advertise that a bit for monetary reasons, and because I'm kind of in need of it. <coughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed. All right, guys, I'll see you on this video. Peace.